My name is Jonathan Manson. Uh, I'm a program advisor for the European Copper Institute for the electric and en electricity and energy programs. The reason I'm here at the conference today is that I'm going to be presenting a paper that we have developed as a result of a research program that we carried out into the financial and economic impacts of poor power quality, not in terms of energy efficiency, but in terms of the losses and the wastage experienced by the end users for energy critical industrial sectors. Well, primarily the main results that came out of the study that we carried out was that the European 25 industrial sectors for whom electrical energy is critical to their operations are losing a lot of money. What do we mean by a lot of money? Well, 150 billion, that is 1,000 million euros every year. And primarily what this, uh, these losses are made up of uh, are the wastage that is incurred by the industrial sectors that we interviewed. And these are basically 16 industrial sectors, as I said, for whom energy is critical. And these range from the chemicals industries to the pharmaceuticals industries to the semiconductors to uh, banks to retail, a whole series of 16, interviews, uh, 16 industrial sectors um, for whom if electricity goes off, their business is put into a critical, a critical situation. The other findings that we found were perhaps more technical in that it was the voltage sags and the short interruptions which were seen to be causing the main amount of damage uh, to the industrial sectors, who accounted for 90% of all those losses. And the voltage sags and interruptions, again, accounted for 90% of the causes uh, of, these, uh, of these problems. Perhaps one of the other most important findings that, we, that came paradoxically across is that you would have thought that industrial sectors for whom electricity was so important would have a regime and a discipline of measuring how their systems were working whether they were continuously balanced, if there were problems with harmonics and so on. Uh, we were very surprised indeed that 15% of the people who measured anything measured none of the basic parameters that are considered to be important to uh, measuring the, the operability and the effic efficacy of industrial systems. Um, we were horrified, to say the least, that over half of the total sample interviewed, and remember, these are industrial sectors for whom electricity is so important. Over half of them never measured anything. The main impact we want to apply as a result of the conclusions that we've drawn from this study um, really are to expand the awareness of the levels of wastage that are generated by basically the end user's own installations. I know this is quite a surprising statement to have to make, but it is not the fault of the utility that these losses, as everybody assumes it is always the fault. It is not the fault of, let's say, force majeure, somebody else's problems. Primarily, the problems experienced and the solutions to resolve those long term lie fairly and squarely in the hands of the end users. So how do we convince end users who are the decision makers of investment into these installations that they need to take these issues a bit more seriously? Primarily by promoting the economic lessons and the economic conclusions to them, to let them know that their business is being seriously damaged by the losses incurred as a result of badly designed or inadequately designed electrical systems. How we aim to do this is either by contacting the, the specific companies within the industrial sectors I've mentioned and the other ones as well, or either instead of or as well as contacting the associational bodies that represent those industries with a view to promoting the levels of awareness, which always sounds a bit soft, but levels of awareness linked to action plans which are geared to improving the situation. One bit of good news is that certainly the costs involved in investing into in installations in isolation may seem to be quite a heavy cost. What we have found, what other studies have found as well, is that in the majority of the cases, such investments are reimbursed by stopping the losses in probably in the first year of operation once the renovations or the reinstallations have been made. What we hope to find that industry or these particular industrial sectors for whom electrical energy is so important will do will be to take these messages technically on board and also commercially on board. What I mean by that is that the um, technical awareness needs to be perhaps increased at the level of the end users Certainly the design engineers, 
the electrical contractor community, the utilities communities, are all very aware of these issues. Whether or not that is quite as high a level of awareness actually within the business organizations themselves, I think there is possibly some doubt. The level of awareness also, in terms of the impact on the business, needs to be enacted on. So general management and financial management of these industrial sectors need to take these stories, these conclusions, uh, as seriously, frankly, as we are doing. Perhaps there are three levels of um, response that would be for us ideal. Firstly, from an electricity point of view, the awareness from, from a, um, an environmental contribution that we are not prepared to wasting something like 70% of the value of the consumed electricity by these industrial sectors that is the value of the wastage, the 150 billion euros that I mentioned earlier, uh, that is accounted for by the inadequacy of the electrical installations. In electrical energy terms, uh, it is also one and a half times the um, carbon credits uh, that are in circulation, and it's, it's about the same in terms of the anticipated reduction that the European community is expecting by 2020 of 100 billion euros less consumption of electricity, but that's happening every year. It's happening this year, and it's going to happen every year until 2020. Now, frankly speaking, I don't think that is a supportable situation if we're going to be taking our environmental responsibilities seriously. Secondly, from a social point of view, we find that the levels of 150 billion euros are something like three months to repay the so-called World Bank indebted countries' debt. And that puts, again, into some kind of context. Um, 150 billion euros sounds like a very big telephone number. But put it this way, it's the equivalent of having two Hurricane Katrinas every year. From a business perspective, and again, perhaps this is equally concerning from a competitive viewpoint, um, the wastage is double the amount that is being invested in research and development and about the same that is being invested into continuous professional development by industry. Not only are we not investing enough in teaching people and maintaining our standards, not only are we not investing enough in research and development, which is a particular EU issue that President Barroso raised in Lisbon uh, 18 months or so ago, but we're wasting it. And this waste is totally in our power, if not to eradicate totally, certainly to reduce dramatically.